Well, thank you for joining me, everybody. So I'm doing fall prep on the uh, the garden at the same time I'm clearing a fence line. Hey, everybody, this is Steve at Thousand Year Home. So I've got a couple of guys out here. We're working the afternoon, four to whenever. You guys have dinner yet? No. We none of us have had dinner yet, so we're not going to want to do this for forever. Uh, plus, it's hot. But we're going to chase this old fence line. I think it's probably a 50-year-old fence line. You think 50? Probably. probably 50 years old. Put the barbed wire back up. But in the meanwhile, we're getting rid of stuff like this. You know, these pin oaks with all that briar in there. We'll cut so that I can mow, you know, we'll use the saw in there. But I already jumped the uh, saw blade off of my chainsaw. This is Scott, though. <laughs> and in there, Franz is going to drive my uh, vehicle and fix my saws as we break them. And anyway, we're going to shoot this whole line, and I'm going to bring my tractor back and get in here to get this green briar out because it's really tough. You want to just keep doing that? And like I say, I am not attached to anything in here. If you think it goes, it goes. Right, and uh, you know, if you think we could eventually can nail a f uh, fence to it, then it stays. Okay. So, all righty. And then uh, you know, I'll come back in with the fork truck. So if we can layer the, everything up where it's nice and even, right? Right. You know, then I could drive in and get it all at Take once. Take it right up. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I can't tell you how much of that shit I just pulled down. It's a green, you called it green briar, and, uh, or the, we've called it the devil's tooth, uh, tooth floss. floss. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. Anyway, I'll let y'all, uh, run while I. But even the, uh, you know, even the oaks that, uh, I'd like to save, you know, these pin oaks underneath this big oak tree, they're not doing it any favors. I think I'll throw all this in the brush pit. So rather than try to save any of that. I cannot believe how much faster a job goes when there's many hands on it. I mean, that's obvious, but still, you know, really something. So Scott's way up in there already. That post just fell down, huh? Yeah. So what I was thinking on those is just t putting T-posts in around them and, you know, replacing the few that are bad. Right. You're already making good work of this. Yeah. 
I say, I'm not attached to anything, so you cut whatever you Well, it's gotten the guys work down there. I'm going to go ahead and clear this out. <laughs> Franz has got my blade on backwards, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Greenbrier stuff is really, really tough.
it's not bad enough, it's just Greenbrier. It's Greenbrier Poison Oak Poison Ivy. You're bull crap. I'll tell you what, that's hard work, everybody. It's not just the briars. It's uh, poison ivy and poison oak mixed in with pin oak and hawthorns. It's a tough bit of business. How did our pioneer ancestors do it? I'm mystified by all that. All right, let's get these branches so I don't get them in my face, and then I'm gonna cut these out, out so they don't choke that oak tree. This end of it's done once I stack those up. Another 100 feet down, plus that clear. A couple of hundred feet clear.
Well, good night, sweet world. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a good night. This is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Like, subscribe.